Hi, Chris with Trimble Forensics, and welcome back to Trimble Forensics Tech Tip Tuesdays. Today we're talking about the Trimble NIST laser scanning target. What is it? Why do we use it? How do we use it? All of these questions will be answered right after the break. In the world of mapping crash and crime scenes, it's been a long-standing practice of many agencies to use some sort of an external measurement, such as a tape measure, to check that optical total stations or GNSS instruments are operating properly and not applying a scaling to the scene when measurements are taken. Now, this concept of external standards checks is not foreign to us, as we use external standards checks all the time. Most PBTs have a dry gas external standard used to check and calibrate the devices. Many legal breath alcohol testing devices use an external dry gas or wet bath simulator to validate the instrument's calibration on a periodic basis. Radar speed measurement devices use tuning forks to provide an external standard to verify that the instrument is working correctly. Now, the list goes on and on, but you get the point. And so, also, an external standard is used to provide an additional quality assurance that our mapping instruments are operating properly. Now, this external standard can come in a few different forms. Things like fiber or steel tape measures are common external standards, and they would be an accepted method of measurement for mapping a crash or crime scene using a baseline offset or triangulation measurement method. However, every measurement has error, including tape measures. What's the likely error of an off-the-shelf tape measure? Hard to say. However, if brought into court, a commercially sold tape measure is generally accepted as a means of measurement. However, when we add electronic measurement instruments to the mix, things can get a little interesting. That $8 tape measure, without a known likely error specification, is being used to verify the calibration of an instrument that is highly sensitive, precisely manufactured, and comes with a certificate of compliance that lists the likely accuracy specification. The old adage holds that we use an $8 tape measure to verify a $40,000 instrument. But what if there was something that we could use to validate our instrument's correct function that is more precise than a tape measure? Enter the NIST target. This carbon fiber rod and tripod has a pair of black and white targets on swivels on each end. Now the distance between the centers of the targets is certified to be one meter within NIST standards for accuracy. Now, when you're setting up your instrument, simply ensure the target is somewhere within a short distance of your instrument. In the case of the X7, simply conduct your first scan of your scene, which will catch the target in the scan. Then, later, you can measure the distance between target centers in software to show that your instrument was operating properly when you started your scene. Then, as with any other instrument, put the targets in your last scan of your scene, showing that your instrument ended the scene operating correctly. The target isn't just for laser scanning either. Optical total stations can use the target if you take reflectorless shots to the center of each target using Trimble's tape measure check routine. Then, in reveal, simply run the tape measure check report and you're all set. Now, if you're interested in purchasing one of these targets for your kit, feel free to contact your Trimble Forensics partner for more information. Now, next week, we're going to take a look at how to use the powerful target extraction capabilities of Trimble RealWorks Forensic to make the most of your scan targets on the desktop PC. Now, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below. And if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to get more notifications. Stay safe, and I'll see you all again next week.